Um, I actually haven't filmed in a while. This is actually really nice. I haven't filmed since like beginning of October. And I'm sorry I haven't really posted a real video in a while. But tonight I'm going to film like probably about four videos or something. It is 11.50 on a Thursday night. I don't have school tomorrow and I'm rambling already. I'm sorry if I look about a bit tired. I kind of feel tired. Not like my eyes are drooping, but what are you going to do? So I'm going to try, oh my god, I'm going to try to just relax. And this is going to be, if you haven't read the title yet, the I Heart Fall Tag. I love Fall Tag, whatever you guys call it. And I know I am very late. I'm sorry. I should have filmed this about a month and a half ago. But I didn't, and I really just wanted to film it, even though it's not really fall anymore. Like, let's see when winter starts now. Winter definitely starts very soon, though. For us, winter started, like, a month ago. We had snow in, like, mid-October. Canada sucks. Okay, and I am already in Christmas spirit, even though I am Jewish, and I celebrate Hanukkah, but whatever. And I have my little Christmas basket that I put all my stuff in. So, oh, and I almost forgot. This video is dedicated to Annabelle. Annabelle. Yes. Uh, every day, she asks me if I'm going to film a YouTube video and then post it and then dedicate it to her. So this is dedicated to Annabelle. So there you go. Okay. So, Miss Jen Fabulous actually created this tag. So I have the questions here. So number one is, what is your favorite fall lip product? I'm actually wearing it right now. I don't know if you can see it, but it is the Maybelline Baby Lips in Cherry Me. And it's not going to focus, but you guys can see the gist of it. And th I love this so much. It just gives like a nice red tint to your lips. And oh my god, it smells amazing. Like I thought, I don't know if you guys can see that. I thought the Pink Punch, I think it's called one from the Baby Lips was the best. This is my favorite. Um, I don't really even have that many fall lip colors, so that is why this is the favorite, but I will probably be getting some more for Hanukkah. So I will update you guys if that changes. Next question is, I just have to shake this up. What is your favorite fall nail polish? And I don't wear nail polish. Guys, I'm second in this tag so far. I don't wear nail polish because I bite my nails. I'm working on it. Um, they will grow out eventually. I haven't lost hope, but I'm working on it. And out of my collection, my favorite fall nail polish is 350 Wind Up, and it is Sally Hansen Insta Dry. So, I'm just, just trying to show you guys. And it is just this very pretty burgundy maroon red color. And it has some shimmers throughout. It doesn't really have sparkle, like very fine sparkle, but yeah. So that is very pretty. And I haven't even painted my nails since the summer, so... Next question is... Your favorite Starbucks fall drink. Now, I know a lot of people like to get the salted caramel mochas. Or the... What's the other one that everyone loves? The pumpkin carrot? No. Not. What is it? Just like a pumpkin latte? Some type of... Oh, pumpkin spice latte. That's what it is. But I don't like getting that, either of those. I tried a salted caramel mocha frappuccino, but I didn't like the salted part. So I just got a caramel mocha and I, okay, I'm gonna move this. I just got a caramel mocha and I loved it. Um, it was really good. Yeah. And then, yeah, they're just asking for fall, so that's all I'm gonna say. Next question, number four, your favorite fall candle. My favorite fall candle is, actually I have two. The first one is the Pumpkin Caramel Latte Candle by Bath & Body Works. Now I bought that one and then everyone started talking about it on YouTube. So I did not copy YouTube that one. I found it myself. So I really liked that one. And me, um, my mom and me burn them. We just get like the one wick size, but, like the bigger one. Is this recording? I would cry if this wasn't. We just get the one wick size. So we just got a size like this for the pumpkin caramel latte, and we went through it fast. And then we went back, and they were all gone, because everyone loved it so much, they were sold out. So, pumpkin caramel latte candle, and then also farm stand apple. Oh my god, it's just like a bright red. And it is like pure apple. 
And it reminds me of a ranch. Oh, bleh. I don't know. And like fall in the country. I don't know why. And there is no description. So yes, I love this candle. And I haven't really burnt it that much yet because I bought three candles when I went a few weeks ago. Or like a month ago. And I like to start with the candles I like the least. And then I save the best for last. Next question. Five. Favorite fall scarf or accessory? Now, I chose a scarf like absolutely everyone else. And my favorite fall scarf is this red slash burgundy infinity scarf and I just got this at Target for $15 it is cheap um, I wrap it around twice if I want a bit of a looser look like that or sometimes I'll go three times so yeah um, I couldn't really I just like love pairing this with certain things like if I really wanted to I could have even paired it with this like the neon pink and the orange don't go very well, but yes. Oh, and I love sweaters, too, for fall. This is from um, Forever 21, actually. I wore it to school today. Oh, my God, it's ripping already. That's Forever 21 quality for you, and, yeah, I love it. Like, I could wear this with it. And if you open it, it has this very nice design, but I don't open it. I have it scrunched up, and I like this scarf. It goes with a lot since it's a fall color. Why am I so awkward? Okay. Haunted house, haunted hayride, or haunted corn maze. I haven't been to any, either, whatever. Um, me and my friends were maybe going to go to a haunted house last year, but it didn't happen. And then this year, no one even, like, brought it up. Um, they have corn mazes where I live. Well, they do have haunted ones. That'd be terrifying. I could not do a haunted corn maze. And if I ever went through a haunted house, I would have to be with my friends. Like, have to, have to, have to. I'd be terrified. If Oh, my God, okay. So, haunted corn maze, that'd be terrifying, like, you're trying to find your way out, but then there's people coming and scaring you, like, a haunted house, at least, like, there's a path for you to go on, and you know there's gonna be a way out, but, like, you could be stuck in a corn maze for hours and hours, and there's gonna be people to scare you, and, oh, I'm terrified, and there'd be, like, creepy, um, what are those things called? Scarecrows, creepy scarecrows, ugh terrifying and then what was the other option haunted hayride i think that would actually be fun like i could do that because like you're moving so you can be like watching people i think it'd be really good but they don't even have that where i live or i haven't heard of it they probably do i just have to look into it but i haven't done any of these things i should do all these things next year I'm gonna put that on my fall bucket list 2013 just kidding i don't have one but i'll make one and i want to do all these things Number seven, favorite Halloween movie. Now, it is November, what's the date, 22nd? Oh, it's Thanksgiving for you guys in the States. Happy Thanksgiving. I don't know if I have any American people watching this, but yeah. So, my favorite Halloween movie, I don't have one. Oh, my God. Candle fell. I should stop playing with things. I don't have one because I suck. I don't know. I never really liked Halloween Town growing up, and I haven't seen any others. And I hate scary movies. I can't. Every time I go to a sleepover now, they're always like, ooh, scary movie. And I'm like, I'm a party pooper. Yeah. And I can't watch scary movies. And everyone hates me. Yeah. But I still get invited to all the cool sleepovers. Okay, number eight is favorite candy to eat on Halloween. It changes every year. But this year, I loved, like, the little miniature Mr. Big Bars or the mini Tobel Rounds. And this sounds like I love chocolate, and I do, but, like, nearly not as much as candy. What else did I like? Last year, they sold, like, those double bubble packs of gum and stuff. Like, it had, like, it was all, like, the little ones with the flavors. That's delicious. Oh, what else do I eat? Yeah, that's it. I didn't go trick-or-treating this year, sadly. Uh, nine. What are you dressing up as for Halloween? So, I dressed up as Dorothy. And I wore it all week to dance, and then I wore it to school. And, guys, that was, like, the cutest thing ever, okay? I had a basket, and I had Toto in it, and I had my hair in, like, two French braided pigtails, and I was wearing, like, a red lip color. I was, like, the greatest Halloween costume ever. No, just kidding. But, yeah, it was really fun, actually. And what was the one thing I was going to say? I don't remember. I got lots of compliments. But some people didn't know what I was. Like, my teacher was like, Jillian, are you supposed to be something specific? Or are you just a little girl? And I was like, 
what? Like I have a basket in Toto. Oh, and I wore my red Tom, so it was like the red shoes. So that worked. But yeah, and then someone was like, what are you? And I was like, no, like seriously guess. And they were like, little Bo Peep. And I was like, do I have a sheep? Okay, um, oh yeah, and I actually made my costume. It was DIY. It was intense. It was hard. I'm never making a costume again. My mom, like, screamed at me so many times because she helped me, and it was just very stressful. And we had to remake it. We had to, like, redo it once. Remake the costume because it ripped, because we did it too tight, because, uh. So I actually followed the Mac Barbie tutorial. And once you've done it twice, you're going to know what to do now. But it's hard. And she doesn't give any measurements, so it's, like, really frustrating. And finally, what is your favorite thing about Bob? The sweaters and the coziness and riding boots and the outfits and the feeling and the leaves and the candles and the colors like burgundy. Like I fall, I don't know, like I love things about every season pretty much. Like I love winter, you could just like go and snuggle up and I, I just love winter and I like I'm constantly in my snuggie in my bed watching YouTube videos hibernating. So I like that. And then in fall, I'm kind of going backwards. In fall, I like what I all everything I just said. And I like lip balms and lotions in fall because you're finally getting out of summer and you need to start moisturizing. And then in summer, I love it because it's like, wear no clothes. No, just kidding. I wear clothes. I'm pretty sure everyone wears clothes in the summer. So in summer, it's like hanging out by the pool and like having a great time with your friends. And then in spring... I don't really like spring. Spring's just like a whatever, like it's there. And I apologize that my eyes were so close, and this is a horrible video to dedicate to Annabelle. But, bye guys, thank you so much for watching. I am sorry this is late, but I'm about to go film video number two, but I'm going to change first. So, bye. Oh, bring back my Bonnie to me, to me. Bring back. La la la.